So what's the difference between settling an affidavit and drafting a pleading? The answer is it's a world of difference. We have discussed some pretty technical things in this channel, but this is one of those things sometimes practicing lawyers forget. And it's useful to remind those who are non-lawyers about this fatal difference between drafting an affidavit and drafting a pleading. Drafting means to write. So let's start with a pleading. A pleading is either a statement of claim or a reply to a statement of claim which is usually a defense with a counterclaim usually and once the defendant has filed a counterclaim the plaintiff will usually file a reply. So let's start with a statement of claim. How do you plead a statement of claim? A pleading is not something where you go to a temple, you get on your knees and you beg for forgiveness. That's not pleading. A pleading is what you are informing the court. The court is a place where the king used to sit and therefore when you speak to the court, you plead. A pleading is usually what you want to say to the court. Suppose someone agreed to buy a house from you and you sold it to him for half a million ringgit. He has paid you his 50,000 and after three months, he's supposed to pay you the balance purchase price of 450,000 and he has failed to pay it and you want to forfeit the money and annul the contract of sale. The other person says, no, you must continue with the transaction. So what you do is, for example, you might file a case in court, explain what the agreement is and tell the court, what do you want? You pray for a relief. Prayer, as I said, you don't take fruits and coconuts to the temple and ring the bell and say mantras or go to a church and recite prayers from the scriptures. A prayer is where you pinta, you ask the court for certain relief. The court will only give you what you want. So when you make statements in a statement of claim or a pleading, you are saying things which are unproven. They are allegations. They are not fact. Just because you say something in your pleading doesn't mean it's true. However, when the other side doesn't reply to you, it could become a truth because it's unchallenged. So now that is an allegation that's unproven. Contrast that with an affidavit, which is a statement in which you are saying, this is the evidence. I went there, this happened, there was an agreement exhibited is the agreement that has been shown to me and I mark it now as exhibit GK1 and then at clause 3 of the agreement is the clause that says he must pay me 50,000 and I can forfeit it. I want the court to make a ruling that I no longer have a contract with this defendant and I am entitled to forfeit. So you are making statements and you're showing evidence and then you must actually say I am entitled to forfeit and here is the evidence. Often in the pleadings, you know the statement of claim we were talking about? The allegations which are unproven, the lawyers will say there was a document evidencing a contract between the parties and or in the alternative there was a contract by conduct between the parties. So you are neither saying that's true or this is true, you are speaking about two alternative truths and you come to court, you can prove this or that and still get your relief. Whereas in an affidavit, you cannot say there was an agreement between the parties by writing in this document and dash or by way of conduct. You cannot choose two alternative truths. There's only one truth. When you are swearing to the truth, for goodness sake, don't go and write in your affidavit and or. You have Microsoft Word and other software. Do a search and look for words like and or or and remove them from the affidavit. Because if you are up in a leave application before the federal court or the court of appeal and the judges see the word and stroke or, they will ask you, is this a statement of truth or is this an allegation that's unproven? Because if it's an allegation that's unproven in an affidavit and stroke or, the court won't accept it, they will reject it. So that is a crucial difference. It is such a basic point, the sort of thing you tell someone who's entered into your pupillage on the second or third day of his pupillage and yet I see lawyers of 25 years of standing making this 
fundamental error. It can be highly embarrassing when you're up before the federal court and you see this N stroke O in an affidavit. So no alternative truth in an affidavit. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, I hope you can press like, ring that bell because it will bring you all my future videos without any further effort on your part and subscribe if you haven't already, share this video widely with your friends. Have a good day. Thank you very much and goodbye.